what would you say to somebody who say is in the midst of has to the outside eye to your eye a, a, a privileged life you know carpets and central heating and a television and able to go for a few pints and all that type of stuff and they're hearing this notion of a, a, a social revolutionary and, a, and a, a radical disposition towards the poor and to prioritize the weak what, how would you say to someone in that situation who's stuck with mortgage repayments for the next 25 years, how, what would you say to them in terms of trying to let some of the perspective that you're talking about into their lives? Yeah, I think what uh, the situation Jesus was in was a very different situation. <laughs> uh, I'm not asking people to give up their wealth. and uh, If they do, they'll become homeless. <laughs> and they'll be coming to me looking for a bed <laughs> for the night. Uh, I think what the gospel would call us today in our Western, very uh, wealthy world is live simply, share generously. Can I ask you, uh, who do you love? Who do I respect or who do I love? Who do you love? Uh, I don't have any love in my life. There are people I respect and they're generally people who are fighting for justice, who are fighting for, the, for those on the margins. Uh, they'd be the people I respect. Uh, but I wouldn't say I love anybody in, this, in that sense, no. I'm really surprised to hear you say that. Why? Love means to me you give your life to somebody. Uh, this somebody becomes, a very, becomes the most important person in your life. Uh, homeless people are the most important people in my life. And there isn't anybody there who will distract me from homeless people in that sense.